Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing a video on wedging. Um, like you see, uh, I have a ball of clay, a rather big lump of clay over here. And uh, what I've been doing is I've just been patting the surface um, with a significant amount of pressure just so that whatever air pockets are there on the outer surface, you know, just kind of removes or goes away. Um, currently, um, I mean, wedging is ideally, um, you know, it, it, it helps when it's done on a porous surface, it rather gives you a little bit of friction to work against. So I have a, a wooden, an unpolished wooden surface over here. Um, you can also use a canvas sheet, a stretched out canvas sheet on your table and that will work perfectly fine. But um, don't work on anything which is which is sticky or too smooth like a tile. Um, those things won't work because the clay is going to stick and you're not going to get the friction to um, particularly need your clay. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So currently uh, the position that I am in, I am actually standing and um, this is a ball of clay and it, it this is this is going to be a slightly um, I wouldn't say labor intensive but I, it definitely requires a little bit of physical strength in order to do this um, so this is a relatively it's not a very big ball of clay but it's not a very small one either so um, I I have I'll be making use of both my hands obviously for this making use of this palm in order to push it my this portion to kind of bring the clay forward so it's going to be in in this kind of an action so I'll just show you how that works. Firstly, I would do push it this way. I'd push it forward this way. And you see that there are two depressions, depressed marks rather just pushed in clay here with the help of this, palm, this side of the palm. So you can clearly make out that. So once I have that pressed in, I would use this portion of my hand, of my, yeah, portion of my fingers, to kind of bring the clay forward and push it back again down bring it up push it back 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 So what you see here is layers kind of getting formed over here. This almost makes it look um, like a sheep's head or um, whatever head that you want to call it. But yeah, like an, more like an animal's head where you have something like uh, you know two eyes that have been formed because of this portion and then obviously the layers of the mouth or the lip part which is kind of coming this way you obviously want to make sure the this portion doesn't get way too long uh, and this portion of your hands kind of control that so that's how it does it's almost locking in this position so you just want to make sure it's done now once that's done you want to bring the clay nice and back together make sure there's enough pressure pull it back in we'll make it into a bit of a cylindrical now you may want to do that um, the pressing and the pulling back method a bunch of times uh, before making I me mean, before really making it into this shape now I've been doing this for a while now so which is why I'm uh, you know let's see how it's going to be so I have a I've made this into a cylindrical shaped um, ball log of clay rather a wedged piece I have a uh, cutter here and let's take a slice and see how you can check check for yourself um, thankfully there are no air pockets in this slam it down we'll take another slice Look, look for it yourself. You'll be able to test your work this way. And uh, we see that there are no air pockets. Really nice and smooth. Slam it down again. Another slice. Slam it down. Slam it down. Oh, okay. See, I actually see one here. 
the, now that's an air pocket so obviously there is there's a little bit more wedging that this can uh, this clay can do with um, so this is how um, you know an air pocket would ideally look like so when you know uh, you have something like this you don't want to leave it just this way slam it so that you get rid of that air pocket and just make sure sorry that was a really loud noise <laughs> So you want to make sure that it's, it, it kind of goes away in that one slam. So just make sure that happens and uh, bring the clay, all of it, bring all of the clay back together. Uh, we're done with the clay cutters job now. Um, just bring it back this way and wedge it back again and uh, that's it. You'll have your... You can do this a bunch of times you do this a bunch of times and you know get the clay in back together and I really hope you found this video useful uh, if yes please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel thank you so much for watching everyone thank you